Good morning, one and all. I am Gayatri, an associate professor from Department of ECE at KG Reddy College of Engineering and Technology. Welcome to Microwave series. Today's topic is Microwave Attenuator. So what is an attenuator? A device which is used to control the amount of power transferred from one point to another point in microwave transmission system. This device is known as microwave attenuator. It can control the amount of power or the flow of power either by reflecting it or by absorbing it. So attenuators are basically classified into two types, fixed and variable. So these attenuators are commonly used for measuring power gain and loss, power loss uh, in microwave systems. The fixed attenuators are nothing but they, amount, they provide fixed amount of attenuation. The fixed attenuator consists of a dissipative element called pad. We can see that a pad is present in the fixed attenuator. When the microwave power enters the waveguide, if, this, if the power meets this power absorbing pad, so it is a power absorbing pad. It will absorb the complete power and remaining power is sent in the output. For example, if you give 60 dB of power, microwave power, now this pad can absorb 20 dB of power and it can give 40 dB of power in the output. So because this pad is fixed like this, it is known as a fixed attenuator. The amount of the power um, by power absorbed by the fixed attenuator depends on the strength of the dielectric field, location of the pad within the waveguide, area of the pad, frequency of operation, and the pad material. The next category of attenuator is variable attenuator. This variable attenuator, as the name itself indicates, it provides continuous or stepwise variable attenuation. For a rectangular waveguide, we can have flap type or vane type uh, or rotary type variable attenuators. Now, this is a diagram of a variable attenuator. There is a dissipative pad here and we can hold the pad from this end. And there is a lock, lock and screw system here, which can be adjustable. So when the microwave power is inserted into the waveguide, this dissipative pad can be pulled up or pushed in. So if the pad is completely inserted, it will absorb the microwave power. Maximum attenuation will happen and remaining power will travel through the waveguide. Now, because this pad position is variable, it will provide variable attenuation. That means if it is deeply inserted, it will provide maximum attenuation. And if, if this pad is pulled outside, it will provide minimum attenuation. So depending on the depth of insertion, the attenuation varies. Hence, it is known as a variable attenuator. The third type of attenuator is rotary vane precision attenuator. For example, in the fixed attenuator, if the pad variable, if the pad is providing 20 dB attenuation, that fixed attenuator will provide only 20 dB attenuation. We cannot increase it or decrease the amount of attenuation. Coming to variable attenuator, it can provide 10 dB attenuation, 20 dB attenuation, 30 dB, 40 dB, like that. Now that is a variable attenuator. Now coming to the third type of attenuator, that is rotary vane precision attenuator. If you want 12 dB attenuation, 13 dB attenuation, so whereas the variable attenuator can provide only 10 dB, 20 dB, 30 dB. This rotary vane precision attenuator can provide 12 dB, 13 dB, 13.5 dB in such manner. So it will provide precision attenuation with an accuracy of plus or minus 2.1%. Now it will have three veins. The three veins are center vein and edge veins. So the center vein uh, and rotating veins. The other two veins are fixed. The center vein is rotating. The three veins, now we can see the diagram here. These are the three veins. This vein is fixed or it is similar to the pad only, but it is fixed. This vein is also fixed. But this vein in between this pad is rotatable 
so by the amount of rotation or the by the position of this pad we can provide precision attenuation by this rotary rotary attenuator it is a rotary attenuator now this rotary attenuator is suitable for low power applications only coming to the next topic phase shifters these microwave devices will provide required phase shift to the signal now the phase shifters are also two types fixed and variable the fixed phase shifter is similar to the fixed attenuator where the pad provides attenuation there and here the pad provides phase shift but that is not used widely but we use variable phase shifter widely the diagram and the structure is similar to that of the attenuator so this pad can be inserted and removed outside now insertion of the dielectric this pad is a dielectric pad insertion of this dielectric into the air filled wave guide this is nothing but an empty wave guide to pro at a point of maximum electric field it will increase the effective dielectric constant if this vein is inserted deeper we will get more shift phase shift and if it is pulled outside we may get zero phase shift also the next type of attenuator uh, phase shifter is nothing but rotary phase shifter the structure is similar to the attenuator but the material which is present here here will just only shift the phase shift the wave so these three pads Uh, otherwise these three pads will provide attenuation in the attenuator whereas here they provide only the phase shift these lengths uh, are are standard lengths now this is a rectangle to circular waveguide converter and this is a circular to rectangular waveguide conductor converters these two vanes are fixed and the center one is rotatable depending on the position we'll get different precision phase shifts now the precision phase shift can be realized by rotary phase shifter it converts converts linearly polarized te11 wave to circularly polarized wave since we have a rectangular to circular uh, waveguide transition here now the vector phase analysis is used for this phase represented input and output te of the propagating mode for the wave analysis now this wave phase shifter is also so suitable for low power application this is the diagram shows the hybrid phase shifter it is used for high power applications we can see that 0 degrees phase shift pi degrees phase shift minus pi by 2 degrees phase shift and plus pi by 2 degrees phase shift is provided at these edges in of the phase shifter hence this is a hybrid phase shifter as this hybrid phase shifter is not there in the syllabus so i am skipping this topic you have only uh, attenuator and phase shifter uh, not hybrid phase shifter in your syllabus general phase shifter uh, and attenuator in the syllabus i want to ask a question what is a microwave attenuator this is the answer of the question microwave attenuator is a device which is used to control the amount of microwave power used to transfer from one point to another point so we will use this microwave attenuator in the microwave transmission system to control the power transmission thank you we'll continue in the next class